I'm not particularly fond of sex. I'm not. I think it's overrated. It's all a lot of pushing and shoving and you still come out with very little in the end. <laughs> of course, it would have been different if I'd been born into the next generation. Because it's different for them, isn't it? Well, <laughs> they discovered it, you see. The clitoris. The clitoris kids, I call them. And good luck to them. I don't begrudge them anything, but... When I was a girl, we never even heard of this clitoris. In those days, everyone thought it was just a case of in, out, in, out, shake it all about. The stars would light up the sky, the earth would tremble. <laughs> the only thing that ever trembled for me was a headboard on the bed. <laughs> but you see, it hadn't been discovered then, had it, the clitoris? I mean, mind you, it was always there, like penicillin or America. It's there, but it's not really there until it's been discovered. <laughs> Maybe I should have married Christopher Columbus. I was about, about 28 when I first read about it, the clitoris. It was dead interesting. You know, when I first read the word, I thought it was pronounced clitoris. <laughs> yeah, I still think it sounds nicer that way, clitoris. Yeah. That sounds like it could even be a name, doesn't it, clitoris? Oh, hiya, Clitoris. How are you? Oh, Clitoris. Wait till I tell you. Why not? There's plenty of men walking around called Dick. Anyway, that's how I thought it was pronounced. Apparently, it was all Freud's fault. You know, Sigmund? You see, Freud had said there were two ways for a woman to have an orgasm and the main one could only be caused by having the muscles inside stimulated and the other, it was supposed to be like an inferior second-rate one, was caused by the little clitoris. Well, you see, that's what Freud had said and everyone had believed him. Well, you would, wouldn't you? I mean... <laughs> Sigmund Freud, who's going to argue with Sigmund Freud? Let's say, let's say you're at the bus stop, you and Sigmund Freud. The bus comes along and you say to him, is this the bus that goes to Vizakali? And he nods to you and says, yes, this is one of the buses that goes to Fazakali. Well, you'd get on the bus, wouldn't you? But I tell you what, you'd be bloody lucky if you ever reached Fazakali. Because there's only one bus that goes to Fazakali. The Clitoris Bus. Hi. I'm Chris Barlow, and welcome to Theatre Beat. What's the show about? Well, we're going to explore cool local theatre. We're going to go behind the scenes and meet the creative people that make the magic happen. And we're going to bring a little theatre home to you. So, welcome to Theatre Beat.